Xbox One X. The problem is very apparent. We have a knocked off USB connector. It's not as bad as it could have been. But I've seen worse and I've worked on worse. So we're going to clean this up and then we're going to pull the connector off the donor board and and replace it. We should, that's really the, the job today. Let's see here if I can get that in view a little better. A little better focus. There we go. All right. In the meantime, while I'm setting up my equipment, these are the temperatures we'll be using. I may use the Pico pencil in this job for the hand soldering, though I may end up just doing hot air. I'm not sure. We'll see. If there's touch up needed, we'll definitely use it. All right, first thing I want to do is clean up. Got to get all these. At least they ripped the pins out of the connector instead of ripping the pads off the board. At least at this point, that's what it looks like. The housing of the connector was stuck in the other connector. I thought we may have a problem there too, but turns out it was fine. All right, let's grab all these pins off here. What a gorgeous little mess. All right. First thing I would like to do is wick the fans. As always with wicking, you just want to glide, you don't want to scrub. Go with the pin, I mean go with the pads, is a, is a, a general good practice. There are some things you can get away going across on, but it's better to assume that you can't get away with it. Alright, one, two, ten. All right, I think we're pretty well prepped on that. Now we need to grab the donor board. And we're going to have to pull this connector. We'll do with heat from below, I believe. I think 
that nozzle will be fine and I think I can reach just fine I do need my other glove that to get very warm All right, my strategy would just be to push it aside. I'm going to use my ceramics for that. So that hopefully we don't melt or screw up plastic. Okay, we're about as ready as we can be. This is a donor board, so I don't really care about anything on the other side. All I want is this connector. Preferably in one piece. Starting to see some melting now. Or wetting. Okay. I would call that a successful pull. Set it aside. So we can trade our boards. I'm thinking about how to, to approach this best. I think I'm going to lower the airflow on this to about 60. I know I didn't put that on the temperature card, sorry. Try just with rapid airflow to get this to solder in place. Otherwise, I'll have to do some protecting on the other side. Nope, I think we're already seeing melting. That's not going to work. We're going to have to do it from the other side. Alright. Let's just remove it. For a moment. Yeah, we'll protect this connector over here as best we can because we're going to have to do this from underneath.
think that should be adequate. Needs to be in view. May also protect my bench. Let's grab our connector. Blow it in first and then we'll tack it down if we need to. I've hand soldered these before. That's usually because I'm having to run jumpers and there's no point in trying to flow it in. But I think a flow in would be better. Assuming I can get it aligned. It's been a bit stubborn. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, back up to 99. So my temperature card isn't wrong, it was just wrong for the experiment. All right, let's grab our ceramics just in case we get another around. Not what I wanted to happen. All right, hold up. Love the false starts. of tape. I love it. Try that again, hopefully without the tape causing me problems. Okay, I think we got it. All right, that's good. I'm sure we didn't do any damage to this connector and the tape didn't protect it at all, but it looks like it came out unscathed. Alright, let's look at these joints. We're gonna need touch up on that side anyway. 
This side looks good. Yeah, we got a few that need to touch up on that side. Not a big deal. We'll grab the Pico pencil for that. Bridge is clear. Let's see if we can touch those up again without the bridges. Okay, feel pretty good about that. All right. I don't know if y'all saw that. I guess I ought to make sure. Uh, boy, it's really hard for y'all to see anything. Uh, let me see if I can brighten this up a bit. Come at it from a different angle. Okay, that's that side. This is the side we had to do by hand. It came out okay. After all the nonsense, bridging and stuff. 
anyway, that was the job, and I'm going to put this back together and take it back to the shop. Uh, if you have any questions about the equipment I use, it it should all be down in the description below. Uh, if you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. It, it would really help the channel. Um, and I really appreciate you watching. See you next time.